quite the Halloween welcome from the Lion Pride here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Rescued Lion Leo belting it out. Happy Halloween, everyone. Welcome to another live post here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. That's Rescued Tigers Tarek and Polina chuffing their happy Halloween to you, our lovely TWS followers and supporters. Tarek's getting right to business. We have ourselves a uh, captive wildlife crisis graveyard of sorts. Uh, that was uh, rest in peace cub breed, uh, uh, speed breeding that Tarek is taking down. I see RIP animal abuse. Tarek is going right to business and ensuring that uh, those uh, in need, those captive animals in need, uh, are going to be uh, have their problems put to rest. Love to see it, Mr. Tarek. Good morning, everyone. My oh my, did Tarek just make very quick work of some of our Halloween enrichment. Happy Halloween to you, Lorianne. Hey, Janie Mullen. Happy Halloween to you. I have Dash right behind me. Dash was given a Halloween pumpkin today. So we'll be watching him doing some jack-o'-lantern carving. Hey there, Mr. Dashers. Happy Monday. Good afternoon, Faith Warner. Let me get into the comments here. Kathy Barton's here. Happy Halloween. Hope it's a spooky one. Lois A is here. Happy Halloween to you as well. Love the decorations, says Bree MacArthur. And uh, I love how Tarek immediately kind of engaged and did exactly what we wanted to do is, uh, you know, take down those uh, those headstones. And it was uh, R.I.P. cub petting. Obviously, we know that many of the rescues here at the Wildcat Sanctuary are victims of uh, the cub petting or photo op industry for tigers. Off goes Dash. We've got a lot of keeping up to do. we got Crazy Dash having, up, having a blast with his pumpkins. We've got Tarek putting to rest. Some of the many problems we face here as a big cat sanctuary. Our speed breeding was another one of those that, of course, is uh, causing the surplus of these uh, big cats in captivity. Tarek even going as far as uh, urinating on uh, the grave of the uh, cub petting industry. And that uh, is quite... Uh, the way to show how we feel about that industry, Tarek, but truthfully, I kind of agree with you. <laughs> hey, Faith Warner, 50 stars. Thank you for that. Very much appreciated. Let's go catch up with Dash here. Tarek and Polina are kind of wondering what all that commotion coming from across the way is, and Dash, Dash has obviously kicked his pumpkin back across his free-roaming habitat and is getting into some carving. Happy Halloween, Joy Rossi. Thanks for tuning in today live. Dee Gala pointing out how she heard all the lion caroling right at the beginning of the live post. That was really fun for Mr. Leo to welcome us like that. Alice Watkins, 500 stars. So generous of you. Thank you for that. And a, and a very cute pumpkin emoji to go with those 500 stars. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Snap pointing out how Tarek is almost like he could read the uh, our captive wildlife crisis headstones and uh, knock them right over. I think I agree with that sentiment. Hey, Krista Christensen, happy Halloween. Exactly, Lisa Parker. Tarek, uh, Tarek showing us exactly what he thinks of those horrible things. Hey, Julie Robbins, good morning. Happy Halloween. Good to see Tiger Dash having fun with a little pumpkin here. Uh, we know that Dash, thinking about some of those uh, headstones that Mr. Tarek just put to rest, we know Dash, um, you know, what would have been Dash's fate had he not been rescued by the Wildcat Sanctuary, and that um, is one we can only speculate on. Um, and kind of looking at the statistics of what happens to these captive animals and the uh, exotic pet trade here in the United States, um, you know, it's obviously not optimistic. Dash uh, would be living a life in captivity where he's... Um, you know, not understood for the animal that he is, like he is here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. He wouldn't be receiving the same compassionate care that he receives here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Uh, and he wouldn't have access to all the things that a tiger like him, uh, despite living in captivity, deserves and loves. Oh, I see Mr. Gino's got an eye on that pumpkin dashers. And so be able to be able to see Dash's life and the life he lives here at TWS, thinking that we're going to be celebrating Dash's two-year birthday. Oh my gosh, uh, here at the end of November. It's a, a lot to be thankful for and a lot to um, 
really just uh, still kind of educate on and let people know that there's still cats like Dash out there um, and they still need a voice and for us to speak up for them and we're happy to do that Mr. Tarek. Oh! He says there's some cinnamon. I smell lots of cinnamon down here. Some cinnamon, there's some catnip. <laughs> Tarek's uh, one to patrol too so obviously he just had access to his habitat. Rhea was in here doing some cleaning while I was setting up the enrichment. And he says, I got to do some patrolling. I got to check in with the enrichment one more time. All the things that a tiger's got to do when he's given his own, his very own space. Lori Ann pointing out how hard it is to believe that Dash is going to be two years old in November. I know. Uh, we were talking about his birthday and uh, excited that obviously we're going to be celebrating it at the end of November when it comes up. <laughs> Beth Warner pointing out Dash's soccer playing skills. Hey, look at that, everyone. 890. Oh, and off he goes. Uh, 890 stars on today's post. Let me try to catch up with Dash here. Thank you, those who've given stars today. <laughs> he says, I'm doing a little jack o' lantern carving here. Anybody have any fun Halloween plans? giving out candy maybe you and whoever like watching a scary movie on Halloween night I'm trying to think about what I'm gonna be doing on Halloween I think I just want to make an easy meal when I get home so I can kinda of sit on the couch and watch fun uh, scary movies Dash says I'll be enjoying a pumpkin and I'll be uh, definitely uh, da Dash is a very spooktastic tiger, as many of you know. He's a stalker, so Dash will be uh, certainly in his element on Halloween, being able to scare and stalk everyone to his heart's content. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Dashers? It's a long, it's a long ways to get that pumpkin that just rolled on the ground. <laughs> Kathy Ryan, 50 stars. Thank you for that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Scrolling through the comments here. Tanya Toner thinking about a dash is going to be two years old. That's right. Look at that. Tamara Lee Day just got off my volunteer weekend at TWS. Uh, and seeing the cats up close always fills my soul. Dash never fails to make me smile. Oh, that's so wonderful, Tamara, and, and uh, thank you for the hard volunteer work that you uh, lent the cats here over the weekend, and talk about a great weekend to volunteer weather-wise, late October, and you had pretty much 60 degree temps, yahoo, I bet that was nice. Ooh, Faith Warner, you dash in your uh, granddaughter, uh, share a birthday. That's interesting to hear. What do you think, Mr. Tarek? <laughs> Polina. I'll tell you what. I think Polina thinks that Dash is Nova, which is why she hears some commotion over there and is pretty fixated on what could be going on uh, because she thinks that it's Little Tigress Nova making a, making a ruckus over there. But lo and behold, it's the original rowdy, uh, ruckusy tiger Dash. And as you can see, that is a heated water bucket Tarek is uh, drinking his water out of. Uh, kind of one of the handful of things uh, that we set in place as we move into winter here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Big, big lion song in the background. I hear Sophie and Kimba chiming in. <laughs> there, there you are. I can see you right here. Talk about a lion song. <laughs> uh, Hinata pointing out uh, how Nunda holds the spot for gentlest drinker from yesterday's video. Uh, Nunda was just uh, on a post on her Facebook page and she was kind of going about her day in her habitat and very delicately uh, drink out of her water bucket a little 
uh, less delicate on Tarek's behalf there. I saw lots of splashing and splashing and uh, water getting over the edge of that bucket, Mr. Tarek. Ooh, Laura Reed. Excited I get to see what some people's Halloween's plans are. Laura Reed's going to be chilling and watching Halloween 4 later. Ooh, that's a real scary one. I need to I need to take it easy on myself, Laura. I can't watch too scary of a movie. It's just me at my apartment. Just me and Miss Kitty, obviously. So I can't go down that dark of a scary rabbit hole. I'm a little wimp, Dash. <laughs> Typical Dash too. He knows, uh, always knows how to outrun the paparazzi. Of course, I just moved, and he's gone to reclaim his pumpkin, which is back in the far reach of of his habitat. There. Let's see if we can get a good clip of him knocking it around as he loves to do. <laughs> oh, Dashy. He says, "Oh, I hear Polino over there." Let's go see if we can see him, even though the shade cloth is up. Nancy Hodel's going to say that you love a good Hitchcock movie. That's a, uh, what a classic uh, route to go on Halloween. A little suspense. I hear you walking over there, Mr. Dashers, but we still have the shade cloth up from Miss Nova was there, so I don't think we'll be able to see you. Here we are. Jim Brill says, made it for a live one. First one in a while. Glad to have you, Jim. Glad to have you on Halloween, nonetheless. Dash is having a spooktastic time. Playing with a pumpkin. Tiger Tarek and uh, Miss Tigress Polina made quick work of their Halloween enrichment. <laughs> Dash has uh, brought his prize pumpkin up to the top of his platform. And, of course... Trying to resituate it in his mouth. It's fallen out, and he's got to say, Man, I got to make the long trip down, don't I? And I love that structure that Dash is standing on. That was actually something that we uh, originally constructed for Tigress Callie when she was living in this habitat. Uh, one of our former rescues, many of you know Tigress Callie, a white tiger. Uh, obviously a white tiger and also being a geriatric tiger we wanted to give her uh, even more space for her to enjoy her outdoor yard while staying cool in the shade and as uh, many of you know unfortunately with white tigers they're uh, susceptible to a host of mutations due to their inbreeding uh, one of them being uh, light sensitive they're very light sensitive and uh, uh, Miss Callie being able to take advantage of an extra shade spot where she can still get some outdoor time. It's awesome. So I love Dash being able to take advantage of it as well. Susan Gray says, I usually work when you go live, but I'm home sick, so you get to see it. Well, Susan, I hope you're hanging in there. Hopefully you're not too sick. Maybe just a case of the sniffles. And glad to have you live here. We're celebrating Halloween with Tiger Dash and Tigers Tarek and Polina. I like that, uh, Hinata. Dash putting his hand on the pole there. Uh, whenever I see the cats do that, I always uh, imagine like they're um, kind of swearing on their religious text that they swear to tell the whole truth uh, and nothing but the truth. I have a couple of fun photos of uh, uh, Luna, the bobcat, doing that, actually. Ooh, someone's saying, I love all Halloween movies, and I watch them by myself in the dark. Lin and Linda Oseman saying, me too. Ooh, boy, you guys have more courage than I do. I like something maybe with a little laugh, a little spooky. I do like science fiction. I know, Miss Polina, you want to you wanna get to Mr. Dasher's. And, of course, it just takes... Uh, the shade cloth, you're so used to seeing him, but all it is is knowing that the shade cloth is there and she hears something that's going on over there. Hello, we see you, Mr. Dashers. Why don't you take the pumpkin over here? Miss Polina's so curious, but she can't see you. I know, and nobody can see you either. Goofball? <laughs> you big goofy? We'll see if... Dash will join me over here 
Uh, otherwise, we can get our get into a little bit of a sanctuary stroll, but give you guys an idea of why I'm having trouble shooting Dash. He's kind of right in some of the thick foliage, right along the wall of his habitat. You can see he's got his pumpkin in the thick bush too, having a blast with it. <laughs> well, Mr. Dashers. Jenny Wire, darn, I missed the tombstones. I'll have to go back and watch. Jenny, it was about uh, as a, of a Hollywood finish, uh, as they say, that Tarek could have done with those tombstones. Uh, he knew, as someone pointed out, it was almost as if Tarek could have read those tombstones where he quickly went and knocked each one of them over in rapid succession. It was so uh, very uh, cool to see, Mr. Tarek. All right, let's see if I can get a better look at Dash so we're not shooting through so much fencing. Hey, Mita G, thanks for joining us. Ooh, Daria, Child's Play movie marathon for us today. So that's Chucky, correct? Ooh, Chucky's old. Those, I feel like that was maybe some of the... I would catch glimpses of Chucky when I was a kid, and, and boy, did that always scare me. Anybody passing out candy? I know that that's always fun too. You get to see all the cute costumes that the kids have. Get to really kind of feel that Halloween cheer passing out candy. I know that I've had my fair share of Halloween candy over the past couple of weeks. My oh my, Dashers. I gotta watch the Halloween candy intake. There we go. Now we can see a goofy. Hey, Susan Cassano, 50 stars. Thank you for that. Yeah, and Yada <laughs> uh, saying that, no, you bought candy for yourself instead, instead of handing out candy. And uh, oftentimes I find myself uh, in the candy aisle after, uh, after Halloween so I can get all the candy on sale as well. And Tammy's so fun too. She makes a point of going Halloween decorating shopping, uh, decoration shopping after Halloween so she can get uh, all of uh, the fun next year's uh, decorations so she'll be using at a discount. Kendra Ditto's got a jumbo bag of candy. Daria saying Chucky is hilarious. I must have watched the diff a different Chucky, Daria. Or maybe I just am that much of a scaredy cat, Dashers. Ooh, Lori Heath, that's fun. You're passing out rubber duckies to any kids that show up to your house. That's a cool little twist. Oh my gosh, I saw uh, someone wrapping up uh, the Ferrero Rocher. I think it's like a hazelnut chocolate candy. Uh, they were wrapping up Brussels sprouts and pranking people. Uh, my oh my, I think uh, that would be a real gut punch on Halloween if I was excited to eat my chocolate and got Brussels sprouts. But a rubber ducky, Lori, that sounds like a blast. <laughs> Ooh, Tanya's watching the Hellraiser movies. That's fun. I love the kind of just classic horror movie. It's uh, really something that I like to enjoy, I do like to enjoy Dash, but in moderation, but it is Halloween and it's only appropriate that I get a little scared tonight, isn't it? Oh, and we all loved those houses, uh, Hinata pointing out your friends giving the full-size candy bars uh, to any kids that can guess who he is, and he's point, uh, his uh, costume is Kakashi, that's interesting. Everybody knows where the full-size candy bar houses are. It's always that one on the block, Tarek. You got to make a stop by that one. <laughs> but I'm a big chocolate guy at Halloween. Wondering uh, if anybody has any favorite Halloween candies. I am always looking for a little chocolate, Mr. Dashers. Ooh, Alice Watkins, Dracula with Bela Lugosi. That's fun. Bram Stoker's Dracula is a very good movie as well that I love. 
Ooh, Kathy S. saying the Amityville Horror and the Omen, two horror classics. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well today. It's a happy Halloween from us here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Tiger Tarek and Tiger Polina made quick work of their Halloween enrichment. I'd say that he could do a little bit more work on that boo box he's got there. Yeah, I heard that chuff. I heard that chuff. Uh, Tarek had uh, seen that we'd place some kind of captive wildlife crisis headstones, reading uh, um, R.I.P. speed breeding, R.I.P. cub petting, uh, and more. And of course, Tarek, um, aligning himself with our mission here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, uh, wanted to put those things to an end and knocked over those tombstones. Uh, and it was great to see him do that. And they've been a little interested in some of the commotion that's happening across the way in Tiger Dash's habitat. Because Dash is enjoying a pumpkin. And as Dash uh, has uh, earned his name, Dash the Destroyer, Dash is very effective at destroying cardboard, but Dash will go as far as consuming some of the cardboard. So uh, Dash is a no cardboard cat, but he gets to uh, enjoy things like pumpkins. So he can still celebrate Halloween with the rest of us. But we're keeping it pretty light today. After all, it is Halloween. Uh, some of you who have been following the Wildcat Sanctuary for a while can kind of uh, know as the calendar uh, progresses through the year that different things happen here at the Wildcat Sanctuary uh, as we move through the year. And tomorrow would be November 1st. And uh, does anybody know typically what happens on November 1st? And uh, so we're going to be kind of keeping things light today because tomorrow... Uh, is going to be uh, the launch of uh, a pretty exciting something that will be happening for the next two weeks here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. So glad that we're getting some tiger time in now and and uh, really letting our hair down because it's going to be a fun and exciting two weeks that we have ahead of us starting tomorrow. Look at you, Mr. Dashers, just hanging out. Just hanging out. Somebody... Uh, Kelly M. providing Dash's uh, sanctuary or his uh, resident page on the sanctuary's website because someone was asking where did he come from. Well, Dash uh, unfortunately came from uh, a, a breeding facility in Indiana. Um, Dash was actually uh, unbeknownst to us, we did not know we'd be rescuing a fifth uh, cat on this rescue when we were called. Uh, to rehome four big cats, two lions, and two tigers, uh, as I said, from a breeding facility in Indiana. Uh, this uh, facility was breeding these cubs for profit for them to be sold on the internet. Uh, and it wasn't until we went to sedate the female tigress and uh, noticed that she had just given birth hours before. So Dash uh, is not, uh, or has come a long way uh, since the, uh, you know, four or five pound uh, tiny newborn tiger cub that we found him as uh, and that's really awesome that uh, we were able to provide kelly his link to his resident page because you can really uh, read in detail about dash's rescue uh, as well as kind of the uh, the evolution of his life and as he's grown uh, up here at sanctuary and how majestic he looks staring over uh, his domain here at tws i just love it mister Yeah, Jim Brilly's hanging out on his platform because he can. What a great life you've given him and all your residents. What an awesome comment, Jim. Kudos to all. Well, thank you, Jim. We very much appreciate that. And, and uh, you know, kind of as the saying goes, it's a team effort here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. And it takes a village between you, our supporters, um, between our amazing caretakers, between the uh, animal care interns and media interns. It, it takes a village and it's amazing what we're able to accomplish together absolutely amazing mr dashers <laughs> oh patricia a uh, pointing out how dash is uh, one of your sponsor cats thank you patricia look how noble he looks gazing out onto the sanctuary there noble indeed mr dashers Ooh, stephanie hewton having uh 
uh, a paranormal activity marathon today. Hope y'all are doing great. We are, Stephanie. Happy Halloween. What a great uh, movie to watch on Halloween. Or I guess there's probably been about two or three of them. Maybe it's a trilogy now. I remember seeing paranormal activity in the theaters, and I was with uh, my high school crush. Uh, and of course, she grabbed uh, my arm for comfort during the movie. And I thought that was just great. But uh, I'd love to see that movie again. I haven't seen it in a long while. I heard Dash go thump off of his platform. But I'm not sure where he went thump to. Oh, he says, I'm going to go cruise into my indoor bedroom and see what's what in there. Alrighty. Let's see if we can go around the corner here and see what Leo and Monza are doing since they've been so vocal today, just demanding to be featured on our Halloween Live post. <laughs> Ooh, Peyton Herrick, The Conjuring series is a great movie for Halloween. Ooh, I've been told about that one. Uh, yeah, and that's a series. Does it have to do with a doll? Maybe those dolls, that's what really scares me. Daria was talking about Chucky earlier. NC Cat Lady, we all love TWS and animals that are here. Yes, uh, love people that take care of them as well. Exactly, NC Cat Lady. Linda Kiner saying, Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you too, Linda. Happy Halloween to you as well. Just because we haven't seen her pretty little face, I feel like on a live post in a little bit is Bobcat Haley hanging out here. And she says, howdy, howdy. <laughs> she says, here you come, and there I go. There goes Bobcat Haley off to enjoy her morning and her free roaming habitat. Holy cow, I guess it's uh, about noon. Since we're a little behind schedule today. Going to enjoy herself with Henry, I can only imagine. Let's see if we can find where Leo and Monza are here. As in, they've been stirring up a lion ruckus during our post. Ooh, that wind's coming up out of nowhere. Dana Taylor, no notifications on FB. Boo! I'm sorry about that. It's no fun. Facebook is always jerking us around here, and you guys have absolute amazing amount of patience for it, and I so much appreciate it. Someone asking, uh, do we have a link to the merchandise? Uh, I need new t-shirts. I'm sure Timber can provide a link to our Shopify store. We're just going to have t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops. Man, even if you needed a new coffee mug, uh, we have got some TWS swag for you. Isn't that right, Mr. Leo? I've been keeping my eye on a uh, Leo sweatshirt. I think I'll be getting for myself here pretty soon. Alrighty, look at who we have here, Leo and Mansa. And happy to have everyone along with us today. It's Halloween, October 31st, here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. We've been celebrating this spooky day with uh, Dash enjoying a pumpkin, doing some carving, some tiger carving, that is. Uh, Tarek and Polina enjoying some Halloween enrichment. We've been talking scary movies. We've been talking candy. I'm I'm enjoying myself, and I hope everybody is as well. And uh, doing a little kind of alluding that uh, we're going to be uh, celebrating uh, kind of a very special campaign here at the Wildcat Sanctuary starting tomorrow. So keeping things light, keeping things fun, and um, looking forward uh, and anticipating uh, the next two weeks starting tomorrow. And as you can see, Leo and Monza, Monza getting a little shade up top, Leo getting a little sun down below. 
Let me get into the comments here. <laughs> Ooh, lots of love for horror movies, I see. Uh, Kelly, I hope I can understand this. My love of the cats is stronger than my disdain for the book of faces. I'm not sure I understand that, Kelly. Ooh, Hinyana pointing out, uh, don't forget the Dimitri socks. There are plenty of socks on uh, the uh, Shopify store, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Maybe not plenty, but I know Dimitri has some at least. Ooh, Lisa Kinnamore, uh, Leo and Monta are excited about their pride growing. Uh, I can only imagine so. Uh, and something that, uh, you know, Leo and Monta thinking about uh, these guys being a international rescue as well. And uh, again, just one of the many testaments as to what we're able to accomplish uh, together here at TWS. And uh, perhaps those lion songs for, were for uh, to welcome their their uh, hopefully hopefully to be future pride members. I think that's very special to think about. <laughs> Someone asking if I'm wearing a costume today. I'll tell you what. I brought my nun costume, and uh, I should have suited up in it. I have it with me. Uh, we're going to be sharing uh, our Halloween doors on Facebook later today, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will get a kick out of that at least. <laughs> Laura Reed, Dash is putting a request for scary movies later. You've given him lots of choices. Apparently, I have. We were given Dash uh, all types of recommendations. But a, da uh, a cat like Dash is bold and courageous. He says, I am not afraid of nothing. No scary movie is going to scare a big cat like me. <laughs> oh, Mr. Leo. I bet that sun feels very good. Let me turn around and see if Tigress Daisy's anywhere. Because Leo is in full chill mode this Halloween. Oh, speaking of chill mode. Who's this over here? Who's this? I have never seen such a calm and relaxed Miss Daisy. Yeah. Definitely getting lots of cat activity today. Daisy's getting, uh, you know, doing what is a very Halloween activity, stalking and and uh, preying upon and uh, trying to scare us, yes, doing a very Halloween-esque activity, but truth to tell, Daisy says, well, this is what I love doing every day, all the time. <laughs> yes. Yes, Miss Daisy. Looking through some comments here and I think we're going to be wrapping things up pretty soon, Miss Days. I'm going to walk, I've been looking over at the three wild cougars, Rainier, Tacoma, and Quincy, uh, because they were pretty active this, this morning when I was running around getting uh, Tarek and Polina and Dash's enrichment set and was maybe hoping uh, that they would still be circling around their habitat, but maybe not. <laughs> Here comes the stalk, says Kathy S. We can uh, really kind of predict Daisy like clockwork sometimes. And Jim, if uh, maybe missed out on the uh, the uh, the rescue, the li rescued lions from Ukraine, if you missed out on that announcement, uh, certainly can find it right on our Facebook page. Miss Daisy, you don't need to be doing that. Uh, Daisy can be prone to turning around and putting her foot in her mouth. She's not actually chewing on it, and that is not the foot with a plate in it either. And uh, she says, sometimes I can be a little prone to doing that. And we say, Miss Daisy, 
will give you lots of toys and lots of enrichment so you don't feel that way. I'm going to slide over to Leon Mon, so I'm going to hop into the comments one more time and we're going to wrap it up on Halloween. Wrap this mummy up. <laughs> Little Halloween pun for you, Leo. Oh, I hear Leon Monsa singing. So we'll see if we get a, or excuse me, Sophie and Kimba singing. We'll see if we get a Leon Monsa song in response. All right, here we go. Leo. Leo, we thought that was going to be a big response, but I think Sophie and Kimba have taken taken the lead and and lion caroling on today's live post. I was anticipating a big response from Leo and Mansa. But at least we were still showered with a lion song nonetheless. Always fun when it happens right here in front of us. Uh, and the microphone does a great job at picking it up too. But I hope everyone's going to have a happy Halloween and is having a happy Halloween. Eating lots of candy. Watching scary movies. Maybe going to a Halloween party. Getting dressed up. Who knows where tonight's going to bring you. Um, but nonetheless, I hope uh, your path will lead back here to the Wildcat Sanctuary tomorrow. As I've been uh, indicating, we're going to be making an announcement uh, about a very important campaign that happens here at the Wildcat Sanctuary every year in November. So don't get too wild tonight. And of course, brush your teeth. If uh, my parents instilled anything uh, on Friday night or at the end of Halloween night is brush those teeth. Uh, and uh, I'll certainly be doing that because I have been eating more than my, my fair share of candy, Mr. Leo. As you kind of settle down in the sun there, we'll zoom in on Miss Monza and I'll watch her saunter down the stairs actually. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you again for tuning in today. Thank you for making uh, what life is uh, here at the Wildcat Sanctuary for so many possible. Uh, have a happy Halloween and uh, be safe. We'll see you back here at TWS tomorrow.